Shut up and sit down. Welcome back to another video with Mac Morris. Today, one, sorry, let me apologize. I'm kind of off my schedule. I'm gonna get it together, y'all. It's been a rough couple of weeks lately. Between work and vacation, moving stuff, trying to get stuff at this house, it's been a lot. And I do apologize for it. Please forgive me. Okay, thank you. Please. <laughs> but I'm seriously, today we are going over my review of my skate. So if you have, uh, if you're following me on Instagram, You've seen that I skate quite a bit. Um, I don't know if I'd say I'm good. I think I'm all right. I think there are a lot of things I need to work on. Um, but I always have the same skate time, other than when I forgot on my time. And these are these lovely, I think they're sugar. Yes, they're sugar grip Dr. Pepper. They are really dusty. I promise they don't look like this when they first come out. I would just put them away. I need those little like toe stops on the top. That'd be kind of lit. Uh, to come. You know, do time, do time. But I wanted to create this video to just do a review on them. Um, I think I'll do a separate one specifically for like lows versus highs, which these are considered lows. If you guys are familiar with any type of sneaker in general, like they have the high top shoes and they have the ones that are low, like these ones. They have even lower ones, kind of like Vans. Those are like super low. But for these specifically, um, for one, so my initial attraction to these was because I think these are the same ones that they use. It was this, like not specifically the Dr. Pepper one. I just like Dr. Pepper. Shout out to my Dr. Pepper fans. <laughs> and if you're not a Dr. Pepper fan, screw you. Just playing. God. But anyways, these are the same skates that, if you're familiar with Sonic, these are the same skates they use at Sonic. So, I figured, okay, they have to do a bunch of stuff and carry stuff on different types of floors, the asphalt, the little square blocks, tile that they have within a little seating area that they have. And then I don't know what they have in the kitchen, but I'm sure it's probably different. So it's just a lot of different types of Floors that it has to deal with, they gotta be pretty durable. Um, on top of it, it's either rain or shine, you're skating outside, like, they just, they gotta be hold up pretty well. So I was like, you know what, they have to wear these to work. They probably work pretty well. So, I was like, let me try them out. And to my satisfaction, if you look inside, which you can kinda tell, actually, if you're not skating, you probably really can't tell. Um, there's a lot of cushion, like, especially on the sides, like where you're putting your foot in directly. That way, if you're like leaning anyway, which of course, if you're turning, if you have skates, if you're turning any sort of way, you're gonna lean. Like you have to lean. Um, and I tell you what, my ankles are always feeling mwah after I take them off because I never have any scratches, no roughness. It's always in place, especially with this extra strap that you have. It's just like comfort wise, you know, giving it on a scale of 10, I'd say a 10. Like it's it's pretty dang comfortable. Like I put these on and I feel like they're literally shoes. And once you get good enough, they literally feel like you could just run in them. I don't just run in them because you both fall. But comfort, absolutely a ten for sure. Now, if I'm scaling them on durability, right? So as you can see, like I said, I do my toe stops. I think this is a common thing amongst skaters, especially if you're like doing spins, tricks. Um, I don't know specific type of tricks that you'd be doing spins with, but I know when I fall specifically, I'll scratch the crap out of my land well I'm not <laughs> nah, right. So durability wise, I mean it's held up pretty well. I've had these since mm, I think March 2020 or May, April, May, somewhere in there, 2020, 2020. And it is September 2021. So I'd say they held up pretty well. I did change my wheel, so I will say, um, I don't know if this is pretty common for like outdoor skates, but I did I do, do a good bit of outdoor skating. Um, but these bad boys wore down really fast, which was kind of shocking. Um, granted, I did go a whole year without having to do another, but I was gone for a couple months too, so that's a little different. Um, I wish I actually I did the picture. I'll show the picture now so you guys can see. And essentially, like they just got really worn down, and because like I do a lot of tricks with the front of my wheels um, versus like the back, these were just tiny, like tiny, especially compared to some of these. So. Kind of like the same way you rotate wheels. Uh, some of you guys might be thinking, you're supposed to rotate your tires, aren't you, in your car? You are. Some of you are like, I still don't know what that means. It's okay. Let's go through a little less and more fast. If you have your wheels on the front, that'll get more out, right? That means they're going to wear down faster than the other ones. Like I just said, these were tiny and these were a little bit bigger. 
In that case, it's a little better if you rotate them to the back side. Usually you do crossways. So I'll put these on the back and put this one on the back and put these subsequently on the fronts. That way you have more thickness on the front. These will, the smaller ones will now be on the back, but you're gonna wear these down faster anyway. So eventually they'll get back down to the same tread level. Cars, wheels, same thing, right? Super simple, um, and I probably should do these again because it's about that time. Because I, like I said, I'll be wearing these things out. But I'm also getting some new skates, so I'll do another review so you guys can see that as well. Just for y'all. And so maybe I'm just a fan of the Dr. Herbert skates in general, but on a scale of 1 to 10 for durability, I would give it a solid. Oh, I just realized this hit sound like a What a clown I am. I would give it. I really don't want to sound like a fan girl, but at least a nine. These things are durable. Like, as you can see, I've scratched them up pretty well, but they have never caused me any issues. Nothing has ever fallen off. No, I took that off. Don't look at it like that. Um, but they are pretty dang durable. The only thing I did not like was that the shoe strings, they wore down pretty fast. A uh, lot faster than what I thought they would. Um, which is why I have these other ones in, which these have been doing pretty well. I've had these in for probably like five months now. Pretty good. Pretty good. I can't complain. So, durability, definitely there. So last thing I want to address is multi-purpose. So with that, I'm talking about outdoor versus indoor, indoor to outdoor, going back and forth. These bad boys, uh, I will admit, when I went, of course outside they felt fine. That's where I started. Um, so that's where I kind of learned a lot of my stuff to begin with. When I put these bad boys on the brink, I was not ready. I'll tell you that right now. Um, and that's not, to me it was kind of like they were just slipping a lot and it could be because the wheels are got worn down from what, what the, whatever, I, where I've been skating outside. And so when I brought them inside, I wasn't used to like the slipperiness of the floor. So I just felt like I kept slipping. Um, I slipped in my thing. I don't like, I don't like see my videos. But, um, I feel like these are more suited for outdoors, which is why I'm going to get another pair, which will probably be just my indoor ones. Um, just because I do feel like I'd be slipping and sliding everywhere. And outside, like I said, they're rocking and rolling. Um, so in terms of like multi-purpose, switching back and forth, indoor and outdoor, I'm going to give about a six or a seven. Uh, but they, like I said, they still work pretty well. Uh, they have not treated me wrong in any way, shape, or form. But then also, if you're going to the rink, well, it's oftentimes you don't like a lot of dancing. Um, it's not impossible to dance in lows, but it makes it a lot harder. Um, so I would not suggest that, and I would rate that lower as well. That's part of the rating of the six or seven. Because um, if you're at the rink, more than likely you're probably doing some type of dancing. Um, then just like going around the rink, you might go in the center, start doing little spins or whatever. Then you're like, okay, like slipping and sliding everywhere. It's like your ankle ain't got too much support, but you don't need it also. You know what I'm saying? But um, yeah, in terms of like rank or whatnot, so I'd say six, seven, six or seven. Like I said, it still works well, still rocks. Still feels great, great comfort. Um, but I would say probably more outdoor still, but still can get the job done either way. So, there you go. But thank you for checking it out. Feel free to leave a comment. If you do end up getting them, let me know. Let me know how you like them. Um, and I'll do another one, like lows versus highs. That'll make life a lot easier. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks, y'all. Have a good one.